Recently, there's been some discourse surrounding two popular animated shows being Hell of a Boss and Lackadaisy. These comments and comparisons have been circling since the release of the Lackadaisy pilot three months ago, and they came to a head the other day with the announcement of season one of Lackadaisy. In this video, I'm going to discuss the situation and go on to explain why these comparisons are pathetic, in my opinion. So, Lackadaisy is an animated show based on the webcomic created by American artist Tracy J. Butler. The story is set in a prohibition St. Louis with a population of anthropomorphic cats. Lackadaisy has been a webcomic since 2006, with an animated short film being in the works for several years, with it finally being released three months ago back in March. The pilot was a huge success, launching Lackadaisy into the stratosphere and introducing an entirely new audience to the series as a whole. The pilot amassed nearly 10 million views on YouTube, with half a million new subscribers to the Lackadaisy YouTube channel, and as a result, fans were excited to see what's next in store for the show. This leads us to July 25th, where a huge announcement was posted. The Lackadaisy Season 1 teaser was released on YouTube. This video featured a two minute animated teaser revealing some hints for the season, and teasing that one of the main cats, Rocky, will move into a town and get a new job. At the end we find out that Season 1 is coming and that it'll be funded through crowdfunding. Over on the website Backer Kit, fans can donate to help fund the show. Fans who donate will get cool goodies like merchandise, a card game, hardcover copies of the comics, and at the highest tier, their own background cat in the show. So far, the show has raised half its goal, with $500,000 raised, which means that episode 1 and 2 are fully funded. If the project surpasses $1 million, an entire 5 episode season of the show will be produced. So overall, this news has been fantastic for fans, and everyone in the animation industry alike. It's always great to see the success of an up and coming independent animated show, especially one which is able to succeed without corporate interference. Unfortunately, however, some people took this event as an opportunity to bring down others. Basically what happened was that some Twitter users would quote retweet the announcement and bash other animated shows, mainly Hasbun Hotel and Hell of a Boss. You probably know already, but Hasbun Hotel and Hell of a Boss are two animated TV shows created by Vivian Medrano, otherwise known as Vivzy Pop. Hasbun Hotel launched as a pilot on YouTube in 2019 and was picked up by A24 with a full season of the show releasing sometime this summer. Hell of a Boss released its pilot a couple of months after Hasbun and was set in the same universe but follows a different cast and story structure, and is instead funded independently through YouTube revenue, merchandise and Patreon donations. The bizarre comparisons were really sad to see, and it's something that has existed since the Lackadaisy pilot first dropped. Instead of celebrating the launch of this awesome show, people for some reason like to compare it to other shows. All this does is cause unnecessary drama between two communities that should be working together rather than fighting each other. Since the release of the Lackadaisy pilot, people have argued over whether or not it's better than Hasbun or Halva. The recent announcement reignited these discussions. Some people pointed out that many members of Spinal Horse, the company that created Haspin Hotel and Hell of a Boss, worked on Lackadaisy, with one example being Michael Kovac, who voices Rocky in Lackadaisy and voiced Angel Dust in the Haspin Hotel pilot. Vivzy Pop herself also made multiple tweets supporting Lackadaisy in the past. This culminated in Vivzy making a new tweet saying how indie animation isn't a competition. In the tweet, she donated $5,000 to Lackadaisy, showing her support for the show. So, with the backstory surrounding the situation explained, it's time for me to explain why I think the comparisons are stupid. So the first thing I'd like to mention is that animation isn't a competition. The people behind these shows are able to make their dream come true by creating these wonderful animated projects. Frankly, it's amazing that these two shows were able to exist at all in the current landscape. The success of these indie shows also encourages other people to start projects of their own. There's many great animated shows like Satina, Murder Drones, and Farfetch that are also coming out. Instead of celebrating these shows, bad faith people like to tear them down and start infighting for no reason. In the Lackadaisy Kickstarter, they explain why they went down the crowdfunding route. They say that due to corporate greed and copyright issues, it's common for large corporations to take over shows without their best interests at heart, especially in the turmoil of the recent union strikes in America. If you didn't know, basically two large unions are striking, being SAG and WGA, due to many corporations keeping the profits for themselves and retaining copyright to shows that they have worked on. Fans are able to support something they love while being relieved to know that the money is going towards workers who deserve to be paid for their craft. Fans are also able to receive fun goodies and insight into production as a way to keep people engaged and create discussion. Lastly, many people in the online animated space work on multiple projects. As I discussed earlier, many people who worked on Lackadaisy work on other projects like Husband, Helva, and Murder Drones. The industry is like an interconnected web where everyone works together to create this independent space for people to thrive in. When these bad faith people do these 
these comparisons, it hurts all the parties involved. I can't imagine how discouraging it is to see animators, writers, or voice actors see people bash the product they spent thousands of hours working on. I wish people were more focused on praising these fantastic shows instead of tearing them down. So overall, I'm really happy that Lackadaisy is coming along well. I think the online animated space is entering a new era, and I can't wait to see what's happening in the future. I just hope that people can tone it down with the comparisons and flame wars as it benefits nobody. If you have any thoughts on the video, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm also in the process of working on a separate video about online independent animation, so if you're interested in that, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.